Hey, God bless you guys. I just want to praise the Lord this Easter. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for dying on the cross. We thank you for shedding your blood for us that we might be completely washed clean. We thank you for the spirit that you sent us when you rose up to heaven. You rose up on the third day and you you made atonement on that cross for all mankind. says that anybody that would call upon your name could be saved. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that you have made a way for all mankind. You reached down into the darkness and you pulled people out into the light. You took people out of their sin. You took us all out of our sin, God. You washed us clean. None of us were on our way to heaven without the blood of Jesus Christ covering us. We need the blood. We need your blood. While we were yet sinners, you died for us. It's this mercy that is the gospel. It is this forgiveness that is the gospel. Lord Jesus Christ, you took the nails on that cross. You took the you took the beating. You took the whippings. You took the scourgings. You took everything. You took the nails and the thorns on your head and and uh, you bled out. And you even fought so hard in the Garden of Gethsemane that you sweat drops of blood, fighting off the devil. Lord, you are so powerful, so amazing, so strong even in your weakness and in all the humility that you displayed on the cross, you were so powerful. You took down hell that day. You took down death. You defeated death on that cross for us. And you gave us a way that we didn't have before. Thank you, Jesus, for the way. Lord, we just confess everything that is in us that is not of you. Uh, Lord, we just ask that you would show us as well, Lord. There are things in us that we don't know that are fighting against the Spirit and we just want those things to die. We want your spirit to come to life in us, in every area, God, that you might fill us up with oil of the spirit. Fill us, fill our lamps, God, fill our lamps because Satan is, uh, you know, he's fighting us in every kind of way that we can think of. But you defeated him on the cross. You, de you, you made a public spectacle of all the demonic powers, defeating them, making them powerless. God, with your blood and with your spirit, and with your word and your truth, we can defeat and overcome every obstacle that Satan throws against us, God. We are we are your sons and daughters, and we ask that you would pour out an anointing and, a, and the power of your spirit on us like we have never seen before. Because we are coming before you today in humility and confessing our weakness before you, knowing that only it's only through you, not by might, not by power, but by my Spirit, say it the Lord. It's only by your spirit that we can do anything for you. We confess any pride. We confess any anything that comes against your spirit in us that wants to take over instead of your power and your might and your uh, love and your mercy, God. Anywhere we are, where there's bitterness creeping in, anything, Lord, we just confess that before you. I do, Lord. Anywhere that in me that I am not listening to you with my entire heart, Lord Jesus Christ, I just ask you to forgive me and to wash me clean in that area, God. I just praise your name, God. I thank you. I humble myself before you, and I pray that we would all come to you with our whole hearts this, this year in Jesus' name, and that you would bring a re revival across this earth, God, using your bride, using your spirit-filled believers to be lit up so powerfully in the spirit that we would shine like the sun, just like that sun up in the sky, God. We pray for that light to just beam out of us like never before. We pray that that weakness inside of us would turn to strength in Christ because the devil, he's trying to weaken your bride, but Lord, you, where we are weak, you are strong. And uh, that power comes through that weakness inside of us we can depend on you. You are a strong tower. So God, we just thank you. We depend on you and we ask that you would strengthen our bones today like you did to the valley of the dry bones. You breathed into them and they rose a strong army for you in Ezekiel 27, I believe it is. So Lord, I just thank you for dying on the cross this Easter. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, we praise you. We give you all the glory and we honor you this day. Amen.